what's up guys and welcome back to my channel and in today's video i'm going to talk about how i embrace my flaws how i just said one day fuck it this is who i am and i'm gonna embrace it and god created me this way so i have to deal with it and i'm not gonna hide it anymore let's vibe on that with the video so my flaws i struggled as a kid as a teenager even as a adult it took a while for me to just accept myself follow me on my platforms instagram or tiktok even my snapchat every once in a while but i like to preach about self-love a lot and that's something i have powered through a lot it took a while for me to be confident in my skin especially when it came to me trying to date i was very ashamed of how i looked and you're probably thinking like what is it well let me tell you you're like okay you took off your flannel okay now what guys i have keloids there's i have a keloid right here i have keloids like see there's one like right here i have keloids um my shoulders it's really just my shoulders i don't have them like on my back but it's really just my shoulders and my chest i had keloids for a while well most likely they started developing when i was like in middle school i started noticing them when i was like maybe in seventh grade when i went to the doctors they thought they were just pimples because you know i'm in middle school puberty so they were just like oh they'll go away they gave me prescriptions to make them kind of go away they actually made it worse and then over time i finally went to a different dermatologist and they were like oh no that's a keloid you you have keloids and i was very confused and they were just telling me that they're like raised um raised pimples i forget what they said it's been a while since i've like went to a dermatologist about it just because like i said i just learned to accept myself for a few years i went to a dermatologist like every month to try to flatten out my keloids so they would get smaller and smaller and to the point where i could get rid of them per se through um this like procedure oh, i wish i remembered what it was so let me kind of go back on why i was ashamed of them i was ashamed of them because they're just there they're noticeable that's something that a lot of people don't have on their skin and i would be so jealous of people that just had soft clear skin and here i am with these bumps all over me and i would constantly not want to wear a tank top if i did i would always make sure i had a jacket when it came to being in the pool and swimming with friends i would hate it i would not want to go and show my skin and if i did like i'm constantly like facing people where they're not seeing my back so i would make sure that they're looking at me in the front and of course you're like okay but what about the one on your chest the one on my chest guys i would start putting makeup on it i would constantly put stuff on my keyword on my chest so it just like blended in or didn't look as bad as i would date i would right away start to show them that hey i have these bumps on me and they would not care so realizing that other people don't even care then why do i care and the ones that do care they don't know me they don't know who i am who i am inside and that's where it comes down to is your personality the older i got the more i'm realizing the outside of a person doesn't really matter too much of course when it comes to dating you want to be attracted to that person your personality should always outweigh more than your look your looks are just an enhancement it's just like a cherry on top in my opinion well that's what really just got me to just saying fuck it like these are my keloid they bother me at times when i think of my wedding day like one day getting married and knowing i have these keloids on me and then i think about okay me wanting to be an influencer what are people in the society what are what are people who I don't even know, who don't even know me, they're just seeing me through a screen, 
are they gonna think of my keloid? And we all live in a world where we should be showing real shit. You know, not everyone is perfect. Not everyone has a perfect skin. Your authentic self, and if people don't like you, then that's not your problem. Now, another flaw I have, which I don't consider a flaw, but I mean, I'm just kind of like saying things that like I've had to embrace growing up, and it's being short. Now, I'm four ten on a good day, basically like four nine, four ten range, and. Growing up as a kid, I was called so many names because I was short. To this day, being an adult, little kids will come up to me and be like, you're an adult, how are you an adult? You're so short. And trust me, it would, it would bother me a lot. Cause I used to work at a gym that had like the childcare center. And I used to get picked on by these kids because they would be taller than me and they didn't understand how an adult is so short. That situation made me get thick skin, weirdly. Number one, my mom is short. I'm Filipino. Most Filipinos are short. So there's that. I got my period young. I got my period when I was nine years old. So that really did stop majority of my growth, having it really early in age. I really don't know. It just sucks when it gets to the point where I can't, wait, wait, what am I trying to say? It sucks when it gets to the point where they can't tell my age because I look so young and I'm short. So a lot of guys that are my age, they don't approach me or they don't want to talk to me because they think I'm younger than what they, than what I make. Um, you had, you you what you could you do you what you want younger than them i should say younger than them so that's where it kind of sucks but other than that i'm fine being short so my next flaw that i have is wearing glasses i've been blind for a very long time the healthiest child growing up um coming out of the womb i should even just say i've always kind of had medical issues and with the grace of god i'm still alive so one of my flaws growing up as a kid these glasses and i've gotten made fun of so many times as a kid um being called four eyes i even had glasses that were like circled too at a point and so that was embarrassing and then i even had them where they would like turn, turn into like sunglasses so i had that which now i think about it, that's kind of embarrassing but they were cool at the time i got contacts so i i wasn't that embarrassed so i ended up getting contacts you know at a point but i got really lazy where i just didn't feel like always taking them out and putting them back in and all that but what helped me get over my four eyes face? Happy people, as we get older, you're gonna have glasses. I don't really consider me being four eyes even a flaw now that I think about it. It really affected me though when I was a kid. Kid in middle school is when it really affected me. Because when I would play sports, my glasses would be flying everywhere or my glasses would break. So it would be a hot mess when I was a child. TV does not make it easy when it comes to glasses because they make it seem like you're dorky if you wear glasses. Like why is it the ugly girl always has glasses? And on top of that, oh wait, I'm missing a great point. But not only was I four eyes, but I also had frizzy hair like as a kid and in middle school. So I didn't know how to do my hair. So I was literally like Princess Mia, you know, Mia Thermopolis, you know, from Princess Diaries. I was damn near her because my <laughs> I was really the girl that just had glasses and the frizzy hair guys we became a one we learned to do our hair we embraced the glasses we didn't care no more we got glasses that look good we realized that everybody at a point in life could possibly gonna be wearing glasses because we all gonna be blind at a point so hey i was just ahead of the game i was ahead of the game last one i'm gonna say is something that i'm actually still working on and it's my weight growing up as a kid high school i i was always very active very active i was in sports 
um, my dad is very active so and my brother is like my whole family is very active so it was very important to stay in shape here 2020 a lot it has good and it has its bad but 2020 I will say my weight has went down and I have no one else to blame but myself obviously but I don't want to be hard on myself when I say that so I've gained weight I know I need to get my health back and I'm working on it it's not that I don't feel healthy because I do feel okay but I want to be great I want to feel great that's my point we're human we're gonna fluctuate we're not gonna stay the same way that we have been when we were 20 years old There's just so many reasons why people's weight is just not the same and it's okay I know for me I just became lazy I'll eat healthy like during the week and then on the weekends I'll eat like shit which most people end up doing I know that's like probably 80% of the people in the world do that or I'll work out for a good month and then I fall out the next month I'm saying my weight is a flaw for me long story short just because I know what I once looked like and it's hard to see what I look like now and it's something that I have to just accept and what I've learned is when you're hard on yourself on anything whether you have pimples whether you gain weight whether if you are really skinny you know and you don't want to be skinny but you want to have more meat on your body and if you have different type of skin than others whatever your flaw is you just cannot be hard on yourself the more you pour love into yourself the more you're bringing in the good energy towards yourself so love yourself unconditionally pour good love into yourself embrace your flaws and watch the magic happen do you at the end of the day do you because you only got one life you only are on this earth for we don't know it's a question mark so while you're here while you're still smiling giggling strutting it embrace it love yourself embrace every moment this is got this got deep this got really deep hey guys before i get more into a deep talk about this i am going to close out the video here this video was interesting guys i hope this video gave you guys more information about me maybe it helped you realize you're not alone if you do have flaws that are similar to mine but as always don't forget to like this video comment down below and also please subscribe down below if you haven't already yet guys and like always i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys <laughs>